Hello there, just another update for you on talking about some things around uh, feminine leadership and really feminine energy and masculine energy and where the balance comes in between the two of them and even what are they. So one of the reasons why I do want to talk about feminine leadership is because there's not a lot of role models that um, are known for feminine leadership. And certainly role models in general were very limited in my experience growing up and even in a lot of some of my working career. I've definitely had some female role models, but there are few of them. And so it's certainly something that's a passion of mine to develop and help people get more clearer about what feminine leadership is and the value of it. No feminine leadership has been very undervalued in the years gone by and it's evident in the fact that we don't have that many role models and so I suppose I just want to bring your attention to feminine leadership really especially as it's been in the news recently and it's been in the news recently for the value that it's been given and granted and kind of acknowledged for feminine leadership being one of the elements or aspects that has been prominent, not just prominent, but almost necessary in this year that we've been going through quite a bit of change and turmoil. And so why is that important? So feminine leadership is about when you're in a situation of where you're unknown about not relying on looking at the way things have been done before and going back inside yourself or inside your current processes and procedures or the way that things have always been done to determine if there is a way that um, that is, well, I guess, something that you can draw from the way things have been done before. So, Feminine leadership is more about being innovative and being creative. So bringing up new ideas, thinking about new designs even. So when you come across a situation which is like the one we've had this year, it's about using your intuition to look at the possibilities that might be available rather than trying to do the same old things. Now, you may ask then what's the masculine energy? Because the masculine energy is also about the follow through and the and the actions and then applying your desires and willpower to creating the things that you come up as ideas and your new innovation and without that follow through then those ideas don't become reality so decision making actions doing and implementing all of those things are very important but they go hand in hand with the beginning of the process which is including the innovation the design the imagination the creative nature and the ideas generating so you can see that that there is a balance required of both energies. so you don't want to be in one energy wholly or in the other energy wholly as well because thinking about if you're in in uh, the masculine energy, you're just continuing on the process that you've always created and you do it the way that you've always done it. So there's no innovation, there's no growth and there's no room for improvement or continuous improvement. And, and alternatively, if you stay in the ideas generation and the dreaming or the uh, imagination and creation aspects, in intuition, innovation, all of those kind of seeding of ideas aspects if you stay in that energy and you don't apply any of the masculine energy and follow through then they just evaporate they really do just become ideas that you know they may be thoughts and they just evaporate and disappear and then they're never created so you never know what could have come of them for example or what benefits they might have brought to people it is really important to be able to follow through on new servers and new offerings because we as humans and in the world that we live in actually change all the time nothing stays the same if you think about even just a human journey we uh, are born and we're nurtured and uh, we're taught 
the way things are and how to do things and how our family operates or how our culture and society operates and how to behave within those cultures. And then we go to school and we learn more things. And then, but, but you see, it's an evolution. So we learned some things at home. We've learned some things in education and those things set us up also for more ways of acting in society and carrying out roles that are required and et cetera. And then we go into universities or you know, high schools, universities, more further education, whatever it might be, apprenticeships and that sort of thing. So again, you've evolved into a new stage. Beyond that, then you go into the workforce. Um, and even, you know, at this time, you know, people creating, getting in relationships, relationships are continually involving, you know, you're not always going to be with the person who you first um, fell in love with. That may happen for some people, but it may not happen for a lot of people. So relationships start, go through an evolution, a cycle, end, and then you start up another one. So again, you're transitioning from one cycle to the next cycle. Equally, when you're starting a family, there's a new thing happening. There's a, you know, you've got a new, uh, a new situation that you haven't used, have had a kind of uh, practice at before. So you have to find out, figure out how to do it. So you don't go back into your old ways of doing things. You have to create new ways of figuring out how to fit this new baby into your lifestyle, for example, and then new schools and their education and their life and their transitions through life as well. So not only are you responsible for yourself, but you're also responsible for somebody else. You know, when you go on a holiday, you create that thing out of nowhere, you have an idea, and then you have to follow through on what that might be. So the evolution is continual. We're continually changing. We, maybe we're changing jobs, we're changing schools you know, schools with our children, might move house, move neighbourhood, um, you know, you, you go, you like going to one type of restaurant or club and then you find another one and you stop going to the one that used to go for you, but you do find new things and try new experiences all throughout your life. And a lot of these things we approach in a, in a fun way and a less scary or challenged way, but certainly often we find that there are things like often in the workplace where we feel threatened or challenged when it changes and it's not the way it used to be or it's not the way it could be or it's not the way you know you know it to be which is your comfort comfort zone and we do sometimes like things to be in our comfort zone but so it's very important to learn how to harness that feminine energy from the idea and bring it into existence um, and lots of these things that I talk about I mean a really simple example that would help you here having an uh, having a holiday in mind um, you have an idea you have a thought about where you'd like to go you then have to apply the masculine energy which means you have to decide that you are going to go you have to decide where you want to go you have to start looking for places to go you have to start booking tickets so you're taking actions right you're making steps you're following through on those sorts of things anyway continuing right through till you actually get on that holiday like getting on the plane packing the bag all of those things that's all part of the action steps and the implementation of making that holiday come into your reality into its existence now so as you can see masculine and feminine energy is part of both males and females it's not specific to one or the other but certainly I'm really passionate about talking and training people in how to uh, embody feminine energy and uh, I really would invite you all to follow me on any social medias that I'm on. I do post my social media links underneath uh, some of the posts that I'm making. I will do that here for you on YouTube and certainly um, invite you to follow me so you don't uh, miss out on any of the information that I share with people free and then the trainings that I run for free and I also do lots of other uh, things around coaching training mentoring workshops etc so please follow me keep up with me and I'm looking forward to working with you in the near future have a great evening wherever you are in the world or day whatever time it is <laughs> talk soon